So I need a four millimeter socket or tool that has a four millimeter hex head. But it seems that they're all in kits. I don't need a kit. I just need that one socket. Because the rest of them will be pretty much useless. Or not pretty much useless, but useless because I already have them. So um, let's see. I don't need all that because this is what I need right there most likely um, and then the smallest one they have out there is 5.5 which is annoying because why the hell would you stop at five and a half and not even five so maybe we have to go to advanced auto unless we're in advanced auto and we have to go to auto zone yeah so we have to go to advanced auto this is auto zone but you know what I'm gonna take a little bit more of a look around and see just in case. Well, hopefully you guys can see me, but uh we're opening something that we got right here. Uh so this is the strap. And this is the gyro for RC cars, the Sky RC G301 gyro. Um, I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like, and see the size. Oh wait, that's tiny. People were telling me that this was a big gyro, but this thing is really little. So that's perfect. We will be able to throw this thing on. Um, so yeah. Let's hope it works. Um, I'll get back to you guys in the next clip when we install it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do quickie 36 update and then get back to the RC stuff. So, so in the box, it comes with the servo or the gyro. Got to figure out where to put that. This wire here. This wire here. And then some double-sided 3M tape. I thought I would have needed some, but I brought some of my own. I do have double-sided 3M tape in the house. But yeah, um, I believe that thing connects here. I'm guessing. I don't know. Guess we'll have to figure that out. And hopefully we do have the right, like, things for it. But uh, I guess we'll guess we'll find out so give me a second to figure this out and then get back to you guys so got it to work this gyro makes drifting like for a Yeah, so I saw some posts about people saying you have to like cut one of the wires and do all this kind of stuff. But nope, I just had the wires in backwards. And then I eventually got it to work. And now, perfect. Because as you can see, I can... And granted, I have to like, you know, kind of dial it in a bit. Now I did buy another gyro to test the difference and see if it's, see the compare and contrast. And I can also just put it on another car in the, in the future. But, uh,
and I know a lot of people like have complaints about the jitteriness, but it's very, very responsive. So maybe the jitteriness is supposed to be that way, but it's not like jittery, like just randomly vibrating. It's, damn, this thing is super fast. <laughs> yeah, this is so sick. Oh my god. And a lot of people convert these to all-wheel drive, but I honestly don't want to. Because this could serve multiple purposes. I could just turn the gyro off and go fast forward. And the gyro, I believe, will also help forward stability. So, yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah, but this is so sick. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. There will be more updates as I continue to modify this car. Find parts. Find a body. Wheels. I kind of do want to upsize the wheels a little bit. Because I do want to go for like a super hot boy build. And I also want the option to have like super grippy wheels and stuff like that. So, who knows? We'll figure something out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.